As lockdown eases and we're spending an increasing amount of time in public, it's more important than ever that we remember to keep our distance from others. Now, when pubs reopened in England at the start of July, there were worries that people wouldn't follow social distancing after having a drink. Well, pub landlord Johnny McFadden has found a really unique way of keeping customers apart. Very unique. <laughs> Josie is at the Star Inn pub in Cornwall finding out more. Hi, Josie. I can't wait to see what happens when you go through that door. Morning, you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Good morning, Ore. Good morning, Rochelle. I'm actually on holiday with my family here in Cornwall at the moment, and I've got to tell you, it is a slice of heaven. But I couldn't come all the way down here without visiting the Star Inn in St Just, Penzance, where the pub landlord, Johnny McFadden, has gone through extra lengths to make sure people social distance and stay safe by introducing... Da -da -da -da, an electric fence. Here we are, landlord Johnny McFadden. Johnny, I don't Good want morning. you to take this the wrong way. Do you think you've got a bit far with this? No. No? No. I mean, is it safe? Um, uh, yes, yeah, it's safe. Is it safe? Well, you're not just a pub, la pub landlord, are you? No. You're also... A farmer and a fireman. So you know all about safety? Health and safety, yes. I've done my risk assessment. It's all right. And does, real... it, does it let out a lot of shock? Try it. No, I'm, no Johnny, I know, I know you're sort of down here. I'm not going to try it, <laughs> all right? Um, Johnny, what inspired you to put this up? Well, we live in uh, dangerous times. It's a, it's a jokey thing, but we do live in dangerous times, and it's yeah. there for protection of my staff and me. And I just think it's, it's gone out of control. It's gone right around the world. Well, I'm not joking. You'd think by putting an electric fence up, it would deter people away. Oh, no. Johnny McFadden has actually gone global with this, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. All around the world. America, Australia, Canada, all around the world. Phone calls all day long. And uh, how are you handling your newfound stardom? Not too bad, not too bad. Struggling on through it. You're struggling <laughs> on through it. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's not right. too bad. And this electric fence, I know you've popped it up as a bit of a joke, but it's actually been raising a lot of money, hasn't it? It's raising money. I'm no Captain Tom, but it's raised a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you been doing with that money? Uh, it's going to kids' charity, children's charities. Oh, that is so lovely. That is so brilliant. Who would have thought, just popping this electric fence up, you've got a global superstar and you've raised loads of money for a kids' charity? Yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? It's absolutely lovely. I'm going to come down here more often. Yeah. Right, Johnny McFadden, I think it's time to pour the Bristol girl a proper job. You want a pint? A pint. Johnny McFadden, women do not drink pints. My come nan on. would kill me if you pour me a pint. Women drink halves. I thought a Bristol girl would have had a pint. Oh, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pour myself a proper job, but as you can see, this electric fence is working its magic. Thank you so much, you're Johnny more than McFadden. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Josie, you Josie, you're so formal now. I love it, Johnny McFadden. <laughs> He's gotta get the full name. This yeah. is a superstar. I like well... it. I like it. Respect where and it's you, due. You, you, you can't meet some you can't meet someone called Johnny McFadden without saying her last name as well. Yeah. It's, it's one of those themes, isn't it? There's a lot of syllables. That's the enjoyment in getting all the syllables out. Right. There you go. go. On. Let's oh, don't hurt yourself. Let's see the it's not too early. Let's... It's not too early. Go on, girl. I'll have a half. No! Oh, I thought <laughs> that she was a proper job. I thought she, she was going like the she whole hog then. and not going to finish <laughs> there, Bryony. Well done, no. Josie. And there well you done. go. <laughs> Women don't just drink halves. There you go, Bryony. There, go. there you go, Josie. <laughs> I, thought, I really thought she was going to get herself on that fence then, though. I um, did. The level of restraint that she showed not to touch. No, it. I didn't. I, I, I have no idea. Well done, you. Thanks, love. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>